Alkados, Boker Or, Bekim Alacha 3, Day 47, page 92, Siman Chet, Alacha Kavet. Okay? Anyone, Hanoeg La Tov Kol Gufot Chila, if you have a minhag to do the, the entire body first. Rashai Miyad Lacha Miken Loman Apsukim, then you're allowed to say immediately afterwards, my Kachasticha. And you don't have to wait until you finish the two because since you already did the body, you already said Chuba, so therefore you don't have to wait until afterwards, okay? Yes, we are on the bottom of 24. Maran that is shown let's see on explain that once someone has draped the talit over one's body, you completed the mitzvah according to the itur, even though he still didn't fat satisfy the geonim, which is the yitifat ishmalim, you already did it. So therefore, you could say the psukim. There's no pasek, there's no interruption. What about a groom at the chupa? The Yalkut Yosef wrote that during a day wet, daytime wedding, the groom says the benachavli tetevitzitzit and he covers his head with the talit. If the cantor immediately begins to recite the chupa blessings before the groom has finished performing the tifat yishmaelit, the groom may respond amen to the cantor's blessings. This is not considered an interruption. But Yekud Yosef cited as a source for the salacha, the oti leolam, which quoted in the response of Yabiya Omer, right? This salacha is correct since it is permissible to respond amen to one somebody that they once they put it on their head. You remember we already learned this yesterday. The second that you put the talit on the head, you're already, you're already allowed to answer amen. So therefore, if they came and they, and the, you know, he does, he makes a bracha, Puts it on the head and immediately, whatever it is, you're allowed to answer amen. There's no problem whatsoever. The Oti Lulam explained that the groom recites a bracha and then he spreads a talit over himself and his bride, but he does not perform a tifat yishmalim. So, in this case, it's certainly permissible to interrupt with a speech since he fulfilled the mitzvah tzitzit completed by putting it over the head and his back. That he could have presented the case as if the groom had placed a talit only on his head, but there's not realistic uh, right interpretation of the halakha. Okay, so that was halacha kav bet. Halacha so, uh, kav gimel. Interrupting before the atifa. It is absolutely forbidden to interrupt with speech after reciting the blessing and before beginning to fulfill the mitzvah. Therefore, if someone said the beracha li tadebet tzitzit, and at that moment he heard someone else say a beracha, he must not rub his fond men since he has not yet even placed the talit on his head. Even if the other person's blessing was also li tadebet tzitzit, he still not must respond to men, but if he did, he does not have to repeat the beracha. So again, Allah Chalama say exactly because what we said, right? That, no, it's not bidiyavad. It's that, lechatchila, obviously, he's not allowed to do it. If he already did it, he doesn't have to make another beracha because he stopped for another, he stopped for something of the Rinshvik Dushah, not just stamp, right? But there was a pasek, obviously.